G'day, we, we bought a drone um, to use when we were travelling back in uh, early 2015 and we bought a, a DJI uh, Phantom 3, uh, which is pretty old now, but um, still does a job, still produces a reasonably good quality video. Uh, I've had to replace the batteries on it a couple of times, but early on when we bought it and we started using it, and after I got past that, that mental barrier of flying it over water, um, it sort of dawned on me that it, it, it was possible that it might have been able to be used to, to take line out um, for fishing rods. And of course, since that time, it's become quite common and uh, you can buy all sorts of apparatus to attach to your drone to do that. Um, when we bought the drone, uh, one of the times that we, we used it, landed it on uneven ground, the, the legs that, um, that were sitting on, uh, on either side where it lands on or its feet, um, there was a, like a clump of grass um, that we were landing it on and the, it actually landed on the camera which was set up underneath the bottom of the drone. I'll, I'll put a, some images of the drone itself on um, so you get a bit of an idea what, what I'm talking about. Um, and I thought that was, it, the potential to damage the camera I thought was pretty good. So we bought this thing from um, online um, way back then, it was probably five bucks uh, on eBay and I'm, I'm not 100% sure what it's actually made out of. It, it looks like a sort of a carbon fibre type of deal but I'm, I'm tipping it's probably not. But it's very strong and it's very, very stiff. And what it does is it, uh, it just jams in between the two feet, uh, virtually flush with the bottom of the landing legs. And so when the drone lands, the camera is, a, is directly above that and, uh, and it hits the ground first. So even if there's a lump or something there, the camera can't touch what's underneath um, that, that uh, landing protection apparatus. And uh, so every time we go away and we use the drone, um, or every time we've got it in the air, particularly near the beach, I often think to myself, Jesus, I should do something about working out how to send fishing line out on the drone. And uh, because I, there's no way that I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars on a, on a stinking piece of plastic to attach to the bottom of the drone, which is what the, the apparatus that you can purchase um, does. Uh, some of them are extraordinarily expensive with remote control, release functions and all this sort of crap. Um, so what I'm toying with doing is attaching, using this thing, this $5 thing here, and because it's very stable. Once it's attached and jammed in between the legs, and, and again, I'll, I'll put some video on of that. Um, it's very, very stable. There is, there's no way that a fishing line will certainly pull it off the drone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, attach uh, some kind of a spike to the front or the back. I'm not really 100% sure which is the best way to go. Um, probably to the front underneath the camera itself. Um, let it stick out maybe... 10 mil, um, maybe 15, 10 mil. Very, very fine wire, um, you know, maybe one or two mil wire. Uh, doesn't need much. I think the thinner, the better. I think if it gets tangled, it's got more chance of the drone actually bending the wire. And um, attaching it to this thing in the middle, basically where the pencil is, and, uh, and then tilting it up very, very slightly. Because my theory is that when you fly... The drone out to see uh, the line is pulling back so the, the the tension of the line and the reel and the weight of the line is going to tend to hold that line on that spike and uh, and then once I get out to the distance that I want to drop it um, the theory is I turn the drone around I just turn the spin the drone around in the sky and it will just pull off and drop into the sea and it'll cost me all of about well the cost of that thing five bucks a um, couple of uh, a piece of wire, um, which is worth the zip, and uh, and then we'll um, we'll test it because we're back on the road very shortly, and uh, this time I'll be armed with it because it'll be in my drone case. Uh, we will be fishing, and um, we'll send it out and and see how it works, and we'll film that and we'll we'll add that on, um, success or failure. Uh, we'll stick it up and see how it goes, and if it uh, if it works. Um, it's best to uh, best to keep your two hundred, three hundred dollars in your pocket, and uh, do what we've done. See how that pans out for us. Well, we've used um, just this, I don't know, one mil wire from Bunnings, which we had lying around anyway, and uh, we've just wrapped it around 
um, the middle section of that support foot um, and I've probably see if I go down here I've bent the I've bent it down a little bit at the front and then tilted it up um, the theory is that it, it can't get then bound um, on the foot itself um, and it can slide off easily so it's, it's going to sit clear there's no way that it can uh, that it can bind up on anything there it's very 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 short it's probably about 10 mil if that now what I've done here is I've got a um, fuel container off my stove which is full uh, it's about a kilo of weight sitting on there quite happily and it's on a half a meter piece of string uh, so if we stop it wobbling a bit and I put the tape measure on the floor um, so I've tilted, tilted it up a tiny bit so what the theory is plan is now is to push it out and see at what point it comes off That's dropped off at about, I don't know, 350 mil. So if we put that stick there, that'll give an indication of, uh, of how much. Um, so if the, if the drone is going out that way, um, that, that, that cannot fall off. Um, so as soon as the drone turns around, the weight of the, of the line um, and the sinker and and the the bait and whatever you've got hanging off it should be enough to pull it off and if not it's just a matter of then uh, just shooting backwards uh, sort of quickly and it'll just pull it off the end of that thing so in theory um, that should work an absolute treat so when we uh, when we get away and uh, we'll do its first maiden voyage and we'll just see how it see how it goes you never know might catch a nice big snapper or a mackerel maybe even a tuna off the beach. We'll see how we go. Got a drone, got to try it. All right, we're back at headquarters at home. Um, here's the plate uh, we made earlier at the factory before. Um, hasn't changed, it's just been sitting in the car. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the Phantom, Phantom 3 advanced drone um, hook, S slightly I've got a tilt to the top. We get a bit of a shot of that. Just tilts up. So there's there's little um, little slots in these legs here with, um, with structural ribs, which line up to the holes in the top of the plate there. Um, they just slide in there, clip into those those holes. It's very stable. Um, it ain't going anywhere. It's certainly not going to fall out. It's, what, it's certainly not with fishing line on it anyway. Uh, camera clears it. I checked that before. Um, so the, the hook's just just poking out underneath the camera. Um, what, what I'll do is I'll um, where the probably where the spinner is. Um, so you got the you know, sink a hook um, to a spinner or a swivel, whatever you want to call it, um, and uh, and I'll probably tie uh, a short, maybe four or five hundred mil length of fishing line from that um, swivel um, with a loop on the end of it and it'll be that loop that, that sits in on this, this peg, um, not the actual fishing line itself, it'll be a, a loop so the, the line will be below the drone and then there'll be a loop just sitting up there so what what will happen in theory is that the, the, the line will be tend to hang backwards, uh, I've already worked out that to get that line off the line has to, well certainly that white um, cord that I had at the factory uh, had to go forward about almost 45 degrees before it would come off um, and that was sitting level so with the drone flying and the weight of the the line behind it um, it, it's not going to fall off so in theory what will happen is where we get when we get the the drone to where we want it where we wanted to ditch the the uh, hook and the bait um, what we'll do is we'll just turn the drone around and then the line will just come off that, that loop will come off there's nothing to foul uh, anywhere on the drone itself um, and then we're, uh, we're in the drink, however far we want to go, two, three, four hundred metres out, and then fly the drone back and then wait for something to, uh, wait for something to happen. So as soon as we get the opportunity uh, to trial it, um, I'll put up another video of the results and how it went. Um, but it's, I, I suspect I can't see it not working, um, and it certainly saved me hundreds of dollars for basically 10 cents worth of commercially made plastic. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Good-o. Looking forward to it.